the pressure and volume of a gas are related by the equation P equals KT, where, sorry, PV equals KT, where P is pressure, V is volume, K is a constant, and T is the absolute temperature. So if you take a look at this, if we increase the volume, we decrease the pressure. So these have to work opposites to keep it balanced. If we increase the pressure, we decrease the volume. If we increase the temperature on this side, what has to balance, we have to balance on this side with either an increase in volume or an increase in pressure, which is how we understand gas to work. So we want to write the expression for volume. The volume is equal to the constant times temperature divided by pressure. So there's my expression for volume. My expression for pressure will be P is equal to KT over V. So if the pre pressure or temperature is kept constant at 30 degrees Kelvin, determine the expression for the change in pressure okay, if the volume is increased by 3 lit liters. So I want to find out this change in pressure. So I want to find out the change in pressure. So this is P initial minus P final. Okay, so my initial pressure, I'm just going to say that that's my initial pressure here. P is equal to K over T, KT over V. And we're going to change the pressure temperature to 30. Okay, because we know that the value of that. K we don't know the value of. Okay, in fact, K is a constant, but we won't get into that. So we're going to end up with the temperature gets kept constant, so it's going to be 30, but the volume is increased by 3 liters. So that's what the expression looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight this. Okay, there's my initial, my initial pressure. This represents my end pressure as I increase the volume. Okay, so there's my expression. Since I know how to add and subtract rational expressions, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go 30 over V minus, sorry, 30 K over V, 30 K over V plus 3. And we're going to add those together by using a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply by V and V, V plus 3 and V plus 3. So my expression now looks like this, 30 VK plus 90K minus 30 VK, the VKs cancel out, okay, and we end up with V times V plus 3, so we end up with 90K over V times V plus 3. Okay, so there's our the final expression for the change in the pressure.